Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Yes, it is. A very brilliant comedy, if I may say so. Do you want me to give you an idea of the story itself? It's a situation which is quite humorous in itself. Rock Hudson plays a rather wealthy United States businessman who owns a villa in Italy. And he only gets a chance to spend one month every year at the villa, and that happens to be September. In the meantime, the other 11 months, the villa is taken over and run by Walter Slezak, but he just takes care of things. Now, Rock, this particular year, comes to Italy in July instead of September, see? And when he gets there, he discovers that Walter Slezak has been using this villa for a hotel, complete with reservations, pictures of the place on matchbook covers, etc. And, uh, of course, Rock walks in and finds this out. Now, Gina Lola Brigida plays Rock's girlfriend. Now, of course, uh, as he only sees the villa once a year, he only sees Gina once a year for this month. Now, that doesn't sound too humorous right there, except that what happens is that Sandra, Sandra D, that is, uh, she's a young lady, I know, she's in the picture, and she is on vacation, say, she's from the States, and she's an aspiring psychology student and with some girlfriends and sort of a chaperone, played by Brenda DeBanzi, a British actress who is very, very good. Excellent, excellent. Now, what happens is that Joel Gray and a couple other guys and myself are also on vacation from the States. We don't know Sandra and her girlfriends, but we see them there, and we have reservations at the same hotel. Now, the rest of the picture is devoted to Rock Hudson, who suddenly feels responsible. He can't just throw these 11 or 12 people out of the hotel. He feels responsible for all the people concerned, and since we're young, he watches the, the whole group of guys and tries to make sure that they stay in line because here are a bunch of girls, and guys and girls will get together and so forth. And while he's doing that, he forgets about Gina, and the whole thing is kind of how I stay out of Rock's way, how Sandra stays out of my way, how Gina gets at Rock, and how Rock gets at Walter and Brenda. Now, it sounds involved, but it's hysterical. It really is hysterical. I must preface answering the question immediately by saying that this is my first love, acting. As much as I love to sing and perform, you know, and clown around a little bit, to, to act, to be another character, to be another person for a few moments on a screen or, or for a few moments on a television play, this gives me the greatest sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I guess I've wanted to be an actor all my life, whereas I used to classify it as uh, wanting to be an entertainer, an actor, you know, is really the goal to which uh, I'd like to go someday. And in doing Come September, I would call myself a kind of dramatic relief because I'm the only one in the picture who has not been given the rich, funny lines or funny situations. I kind of spur whatever slight dramatic conflict might exist. Well, no, it's not recent. I should say it was the means to the end, so to speak. I started as a songwriter. After trying my luck at acting for about a year or so in New York City, I dabbled in songwriting as a hobby, really. And the songwriting became lucrative because I was fortunate enough to do some radio commercials, which put me in some money, which enabled me to make demo records of commercial songs that I'd written. And the net result of that was of getting lucky with my own records, of Splish Splash and Dream Lover. But yeah, I know what you're getting to. I think you're getting to the fact that I wrote the song in the picture and the theme music is composed by myself, which is, to me, the most sensational thing that's ever happened to me, strictly creative-wise. To see the name on the credits theme composed by Bobby Darren just knocks me out. And to know that that theme is run throughout the entire picture. And Hans Salter has done the underscore. He's intertwined or interwoven my theme song into the entire picture, along with his own themes. But the central theme is mine, and I just feel so great about that, you know? Pleasure. Thank you.